Oh yeah, go on, click the subscribe button. Uh, we need to get subscribe and get this unity stronger and beat YouTube at their own game. Okay, that's what this is about. Like I say, go to the remix button, hit the remix button. That way you'll have this video and, and keep up with this. Otherwise, you know, YouTube's just going to control us, guys, and it's, it's really bad. We are streaming live uh, most nights in British Columbia, Canada, 7 to 8 o'clock p.m. time. We go live for an hour. If the comments are to the left-hand side of the video when you show up. We are live. Join in the conversation. Say something. Be heard. People, if I don't catch everybody else, well, Nubu Magic's here. And um, we got three cubic miles of waste when those uh, these nuclear power plants have run their courses. I'm just waiting for the video to start, just to make sure everything is good. I screwed up last night on the audio, so give me a minute. Yeah, it looks okay. My apologies. I think I had uh, computer's microphone on last night instead of, oh goodness, uh, you folks are too kind. Everybody put up with it. Uh, everybody, uh, let me let me just jump in for a second. Yeah, I just got to throw this quick one before I get it off, so I don't forget to do it because I worked on it today. Three cubic miles of radioactive waste. Whip puts radioactive waste in at two thousand feet under the ground because it's insignificant normal everyday background radiation, right? Wrong. You put it in the ground because it's high level radiation and they don't want to tell you because they got a billion tons of it. They got three cubic miles of it. Well, to put that into perspective, that's enough to cover West, West Virginia, the state, Rhode Island, the state, Connecticut, the state, New Jersey, the state, Hawaii, poor buggers, New Hampshire, the state, Delaware, the, yeah, you guessed it, the state, Vermont, the state, in one inch, mm, over-exaggerating there for a second, one inch, <laughs> in one inch, if you took all the radioactive waste and grind it up, you would cover them in one inch, all those states. Pretty friggin' cool, eh? You can turn it into, like, everybody goes and builds nuclear snowmen or something like that. Think about that. And you build nuclear castles. Yeah? You can just like go on vacation down to all these uh, West Virginia and build yourself some nuclear ice castles. <laughs> or you can go over to Connecticut and um, build nuclear sand castles. I like it. It's got that certain flavor to it. Never heard that one before. It could be a trendy thing, right? Get your dose, get your patriotic dose for your country. Suck up some of that radiation. <laughs> so <laughs> that's how they're going to dispose of it. Hey, yeah. And so basically, uh, one billion ants would weigh three tons. And so that's a little less than the weight of an elephant or 330 million elephants worth of radioactive material. Something like that anyway. Maybe I made a mistake there. Yeah, no, I think that's right. 333 million elephants. They got a billion tons of radioactive. They get rid of a lot of it. Uh, for nine years, they were firing it into Iraq. Uh, 2.5 million rounds a month of uranium-238. This is what we're talking about. The yellow cake and the to spend fuel rods, uh, and that's uh, they can't. They're supposed to have this in the sarcophagus, but they don't. And so Whip, in their just brilliance, uh, said, "Hey, let's put it down in a hole in the ground, and if we have a problem, we'll all run away, and nobody can ever get back in there again." Hell, we'll do that if we have a truck fire. And they had a truck fire, and everybody ran away and stayed away for nine days because truck fires are that dangerous. I'm actually lobbying my government here to ban trucks in Canada because, man, you know, if you got to evacuate a $3 million facility, $3 billion, uh, $3 billion facility because of a truck fire, just imagine how friggin' dangerous they really are. That thing was, 
uh, 2,000 feet under the ground, they evacuated the whole friggin' place, right? They were looking for, um, and for nine days, and then they had a radiation release and still couldn't go back. And so right now, you know, they got two problems. They got a lot of trucks down there in New Mexico, and they don't know what to do with all those trucks. They were looking for a repository a couple of miles underground to get rid of the trucks, and then we work on a billion tons of nuclear waste, I think. Is that how they're going to approach that? Because if you can't get down in the whip for nine days because of a truck fire, then you started off the whole friggin' shebang with a lie, is what they done, right? So the first nine days they faked it. They said, well, we had a truck fire down there, we can't get down there. I said, hey, wait a second. That's a freaking big mind. That's huge. It's like big. And the air is just flying through this place. Now you gotta do is get on the other side of the truck. <laughs> and the smoke goes the other way. And you sit there and pick your nose, whatever. And eventually pick up something and go and put the truck out. Because the smoke all goes out the mine the other way, right? Yeah. Does that make sense to you? Does it make sense to anybody? Am I missing something here? And that smoke on the walls. Well, they got companies that will come in and clean up your house if you get smoke damage. You didn't call any of them to go in and clean up whip. You're like, fuck that. I'm not going down there. I got me a union. I don't got to go down there. You go to fuck down there. They had a truck fire. I'm not going down there. It was a truck fire. I got union rights. I'm American. I don't got to do jack shit. And they didn't for nine days. And then um, you take into consideration that there was a lot of pre-planning went in the whip. And for five years they had buried canisters in little salty pods to see how that environment would affect the containers with uh, just a small nuclear waste in it. And when they came back five years later, the containers were dissolved. Because that's what salt does. I know that's a shock to everybody. That's if you get salt on your product, on, on metal, it'll rust. But it really truly is like that. You should see the used car lots, uh, or the car lots, brand new car lots, uh, by the uh, shoreline, and they sell cars and people buy it. Long before they used to treat the cars, and give the car a couple of years, and the car would be full of rust. And you got salty on the roads. Wherever they use lots of salts on the roads, you get a lot of rust in your cars. Because salt rust. And... So the idea all along was to put all these containers a couple of thousand feet under the ground of high level radioactive material would tell you it was low la level radioactive material. And if they had an issue, they would come out and say it's like licking an iPhone charger, right? And I think they should all have to apologize to Apple for that. Because they came out and one of the uh, Williams, she came out and she said, oh, you know, the radiation coming out of the you know, we've got to put it down under the ground a couple of thousand feet because it's high-level radioactive material. But if it gets into your community, it's like licking your iPhone charger. You get more radiation. Or it's like a banana. And we covered all that. I got called a conspiracy theorist by uh, KRQE Channel 13, right? I, thought I beat him up pretty good. Well, I mocked him. Because it was ridiculous. Because I'm not going to lie. What's the sense of it? How can you possibly even consider it? You know, I've got almost 8,000 headlines on Fukushima and other nuclear stuff on this site that we've covered. Quite the extensive background just on its own. And just a collection on its own, you know, just when you look at that much. And i got so much I still haven't got to, and that's the whole point, and that's why I'm here all the time, because you're trying to, to get through all of this. And then we have accidents like WIP, where they come out and they claim that the truck fire had nothing to do with the release nine days later, but they never went back down in the mine for nine days. So right away you're stuck with a lie, and a big lie. And they can't go put their foot into that and confess, because then you're going to say, well, what else did you lie about? Well, it turns out they lied about everything they friggin' said the whole way through. That's all they done. They lied. They didn't even tell you to stay in your homes, tell your children not to go to school that day. You know, that's criminal. You never hired these people. You're not paying for those facilities. You're not putting all your time and energy and taxes into these facilities. All these resources, all these scientists, all these academics, all these uh, decades of studies and construction and precious metal and resources and infrastructure. 
and then you have an axe and a truck fart and you all fucking run away. Excuse the language. You all run away. And think we're stupid. That you ran out of there because it was a truck fire. And when you can just get on the other side of it and put it out because the smoke goes one way. But if you had a radioactive release, you would have ran out of there every way possible. And KRKOA Channel 13 had said how dramatic it was when you all came out of there from the radiation release, but there was no release. You staged it. You weren't back down there. Right? So they just make shit up. And we called them on that. We showed it. We downloaded everything they got there, and we showed them as to be 100% fabrications they supported whatever whip said the media came out and supported that just like helped tell that same story well not not all food is safe right and and you go to dr uh, neil down in oklahoma who says you get more radiation from a banana than you would from whip but in the same one they showed a radioactive fallout map with a banana in it a radioactive fallout map, and I covered that two different times, with a banana in it. It's utter mockery. Because if you eat a banana, which is potassium-40, it's irrelevant, you off-gas that same amount, and I have to apologize for it every freaking night. I can't avoid it. i got to make sure everybody knows that, that nobody ever, ever misses out on the fact that this is what they've been doing for 70 years. It's telling you, it's like a banana, shut your fucking mouth. You're stupid. Well, you're not, because it's that simple. Now, they say it's like walking in the sunshine. Walking in the sunshine got nothing to do with ingesting radioactive particles. But yet they insist in your media. They can't fact check that. National Geographic can't fact check it. The Washington Post can't fact check it. The LA Times can't fact check it. Drudge Report or Boing Boing or... Engadget can't fact check it and say, hey, by the way, that got nothing to do with it. Nobody out there can fact check it and say, you know, it's homeostasis. It's irrelevant. It regulates itself. Potassium-40 is in everything. We're potassium-40. Our clothing, holy crap, everything is potassium-40. It doesn't mean nothing. It doesn't mean nothing. It's irrelevant. If you eat potassium-40, you off-gas the same amount of potassium-40. So why do they keep throwing that? Why? Because it's dangerous radiation. They're not lying to you for something to do. They're lying to you to keep you in the dark, to keep you confused, to keep you, you uh, to make you repeat that around the coolers or at work or on a bus, to make you feel like you're smart, and you quip in and say, oh, it's like a banana. It's just like radi there's radiation everywhere. That's got nothing to do with radioactive material, ionized radioactive material. They should be on their back when they say that. Bleeding. Because that's how big of a fabrication and a lie and a misrepresentation it actually is. It's an utter fabrication to equate bananas with E equals MC square. It's ludicrous. It's beyond asinine. It's beyond calling you an idiot. It's turning you into an idiot. It's manipulating the people that put their trust into them into being idiots and to being drones and zombies and repeating that and regurgitating that. And so you can't have a dialogue. And that's not accidental. You know, we live in a world uh, where the homeless that can't read or write are shanghaied and sent to Fukushima. Concentration camps to do the most dangerous jobs on the planet for minimum wage. And then they're just charted. Like trash, dying from the radiation sickness. That's day-to-day -day life in Fukushima Prefecture. At the military industrial complexes, directed energy weapons, isotope production facility, I mean, Diachi uh, number one. And this mockery is untenable. You know, there's seagulls are dropping dirty bombs down there. This is where radioactive fallout is flipped to licking an iPhone charger that in somebody's world is apparently trendy. Where university professors claim nuclear reactor chain reaction ionized elements like uranium-234, 235, and 238, and plutonium-238, 239, 240, 241 
are flipped to equate homeostasis, like a banana, where you off-gas the amount you ingest. But yet you don't. You, if you ingest plutoniums or uraniums, or the ra radioactive ionized isotopes from fission, or waste releases like WIP, like Fukushima, like the 45,000, 45 gallon barrels dumped off the coastline of California, like the 2.5 million dirty bombs fired into family homes and cars in Iraq and Afghanistan for nine years, 2.5 million a month to get 11,000 Taliban, like Russia's dumping in the ocean, like British dumping in the ocean, the drums, like the 8 million liters a day coming out of Sellafield, England, like uh, Prince Harry fires out of his uh, helicopter. They're all dirty bombs, every one of them. They're not bullets, they're dirty bombs. That's all McAllister, bomb manufacturer McAllister, Oklahoma makes is dirty bombs. Freaking dirty bombs. Go fire them in other people's countries, but take all your civil liberties away because Al-Qaeda, who they created, was funded to overthrow Saddam and then used to destroy Afghanistan and Iraq and to demonize any kind of opposition from the locals. I mean, do you know who won the war in Iraq and Afghanistan? Do you? Do you actually know? It was Monsanto. Do you know why Monsanto, who, by the way, chemtrailed the skies for nine years in Vietnam, finally stopped? Because the soldiers on the ground would shoot them out of the sky. Their own soldiers forced that to stop. That's, that's what ended the war. Because they were being chemically poisoned. They were walking around in their own fog, and they knew that was a chemical weapons. They came, in, they came into those same airports. And so they would fire at these things. When they went to war in Iraq, they never gave the soldiers live ammunition until they were going to engage in off of Kuwait on the highway of death. Because there were so many of the sergeants and, and lieutenants and, and the upper military got killed by their troops. Just shot in the back, drop a grenade on them, walk away, oh, sergeant got killed. <laughs> you know, and your media, everything out there in the media that you're supposed to be able to trust, and in the, and in the academic community, will go out, and if you talk about WIP or talk about Fukushima... They're going to use bananas. They're going to use walking in the sunshine. And then they'll go out and they'll say, oh, it's like getting an x-ray. No, it's not. You, you know, from WIP and from Fukushima, you're ingesting radioactive particles. That's in your body and that sequesters in your organs. And if you live in an environment where there's a lot of that, it causes permanent lesions and damage to your organs because it's man-made ionized radioactive materials. It doesn't exist on the moon or Mars or anywhere else. We created this elements. These are not indigenous to our Milky Way, to our element periodic tables. Even though they try to marry them up with and call certain elements the same, they're actually different. The sun makes the elements, we destroy the elements. It's a total different type of chain reaction. It's not, it, there's not, actually nothing like it. Nothing alike. They're completely different. But they tell you they look the same. It's just endless lies. They can't tell you the truth. Because then all of their years of chatter and bullshit, and propaganda, and movies, and documentaries, that all becomes useless. That all comes back and uh, haunts them. And so they can't tell you the truth. They can never walk away from the lie. But what happens is, when you find out it's all a lie, that hurts. Because you put a lot of fate, time, energy, you pay cable bills to watch it all your life. You took solace in it during events that they would give you fairly... But what they are is their PR machines. And so WIP had one of the best PR machines available. And what they done was they come out and lied, and lied, and lied, and they never told the children to stay home when the worst was going on. This, this was the worst. They never admitted it was going on until nine days after the truck fire. And the truck fire, there was dark smoke coming out of there. If you go look on Mama Knox's and you type in WIP fire, and truck, you'll find a video, it's a little short, couple of little short videos, and you'll see all that stuff coming out of there, that's not a truck fire. That's radioactive material. And that's why I was saying that the walls are all contaminated way back then, right? That's why we said 
the floor, the dirt, everything was going to be contaminated. You can't go in there, you're going to liberate everything, and you'll be inhaling it, ingesting it, it'll be sticking all over you. Right? And this is what we're hearing now. How interesting. Because they're sacrificing people to keep the, live al the lie alive. Right? And they knew this when they built a repository. When the radio, if it was one thing to have a truck fire, because you get down the other side of the truck fire and all the smoke is getting dragged away from you, you put it out, and that's fuck all. You tow it to fuck editor. And you keep on working. It's a big shitty deal, okay? It is for the guys on the other side where all the smoke is coming through, but they got all kinds of safety rooms and everything down there, all kinds of oxygen tanks. But for radiation, that's different. That's panic friggin' mode. That's all my shit. And they got. 50 football size can, uh, rooms down there and they can't get in there because they had a radioactive release down there. It's the stupidest thing imaginable because they're just putting it in 45 gallon drums and containers, getting it out of places that don't have no moral and don't have any, you know, all your universities. And I've been going through this now. He's collecting it. I'm still streaming, right? Let me come over and say hi to everybody. I'll finish my point. You experience technical difficulties. Seedman says, uh, please stand boy. No single MSVS. Hello, hello, hello. Is there anybody? Hello. <laughs> Stick that out to frozen. Fukushima plus Ebola equals zombie apocalypse. I like it. That's rich. Well, I see my comments show up there, but uh, I'm going to refresh my screen. I'm going to refresh my page. Hang on. I left off at China. I'll get right back on track. On track. I'll get back on track. <laughs> Not last night, but the night before I left my cup of tea over there. All night long, I'm looking at this cup of tea over there. And like, Durr. should have went up and got it. It's shocking. I put it in a pot and heated it back up after, by the way. Okay, we're back up. I'm not showing up here, but I'll take your word for it. Earth Day is a joke. Hello, MS, MSVS. Broken Ass Islander. Hi, Pasha. Adam. Seedman Patrick. Toxic Lunar. We, we destroy what? Oh, got a page. Yeah, do you? Yeah, do you go? Yeah, Rocky. Now you're going to get it. See? Yeah, Rocky. Hello, hello, hello Monterey, Pasha, hi, thank you for what you're doing, uh, DC Babu, Cats Alive, Starlight, David, the lighter side of a genocide is me. You folks are going to split a kidney when you find out what the name of my dot org is going to be. Oh, it's be the funniest thing you ever heard. I can't tell you because somebody will go steal it on me. But I'm going through this title searches and stuff right now. I gotta be careful I don't give anything away because I want to have a bit of fun with this one. But yeah, you'll be you'll be laughing. You'll be laughing. Anybody tells <laughs> in, a, in a good way though. Trust me. Brilliant. Okay, we're good now. Let's keep going. How are we doing anyway? Twenty three minutes. We're not even warmed up. I gotta gargle some shit here get my vocals working yeah we dropped 30 people thank you Google that's why we love Google NDP India P pony India pony I think it's supposed to be hi flux to NFL hang on I haven't got my glasses on Fix you a tis if I x u a t e z. I'm stalling again. I don't know. In the middle for right police. Uh, hi everybody. Strantia Mike. We're looking. So whip battery acid and mops. So that the radioactive material, even if you pour battery acid over it, you still can't decontaminate it. Brr. If you take that stuff and shovel it into an incinerator and burn it at thousands of degrees, you still can't decontaminate it. I'm off again. I'm off again. Now, I'm plugged directly into my router. 
I'm watching the comments going. I'm watching me on it. So I shouldn't be losing because I'm Canadian. I'm very privileged. I have <laughs> bandwidth. There's no reason for me to be getting kicked off. This computer is, is in wireless, but that one is plugged directly into the router. Router. Arr, she's a router. So today over in China, there was a... Hi, Grandma Goli. I seen you over there on my... Uh, Regarding depleted uranium is the pride of civilization video. Thank you. Yeah, I done that video five or six days before Fukushima. I was on the ball. I was I was at it. You have no idea. I had a lot uh, some other sites going at the same time. Then I jumped. Uh, Seedman Patrick, let me see what we got going on here. Radioactive banana. I'll get back on track. Hi Nuber Magic. Thumbs up. Uber Magic's got to go do, uh, and he's a blogger. If you don't know, you'll find the links below the video. If you're here right now, he's right alongside, to the left. And there's lots of links on the below, different opinions. Tons and tons of different opinions, so you can get different stuff coming at you. What I do is I aggregate a lot of information, and I kind of click the dots. And I show you how stupid the system really is by telling you it was a banana. I'm kicked off again. This is shocking. To gussing Twitch TV? What's what's gussing G U S I N G Twitch TV? I wonder. I got no idea. Hi James Beck. I got no idea what's going on, folks. I'm just slowed down for a few minutes here. Apologize if you don't know what's going on. We are live streaming. We are live streaming, and I'm smoking a cigarette. There is no filter on my cigarette. And I can't remember. Some spot editor just made it illegal to have filters on your, uh, no filters on your cigarettes. Now, filters make the particles smaller to get through the liner of your lungs. But the only problem with cigarettes is that there's 4,000 chemicals in that cigarette. Some, somebody woke up one morning and said, hey, I got a great idea. Let's put 4,000 chemicals in a cigarette. They can never get off it. And we'll get all the universities to look at nicotine. For four decades, you still can't link it to cancer. But if they looked at those 4,000 chemicals, you would link it to cancer. And The Golden Holocaust was a book written by a Stanford professor uh, who retired. And he, the book was called The Golden Holocaust. And he wrote about how thousands of academics and institutions are basically tobacco lobbyists, full of tobacco lobbyists. They get all kinds of money from the tobacco industry to do stupid and significant stuff, but they're just burning up money in your institutions. And once again, 4,800 of your peer review academic studies that you pay for every day are locked away. Hi, nuts, uh, frozen in time, nuts for art. Darn it. Um, good time to check. Vote for Hillary. What? I missed that one. Yeah, it's buzzing through there now. Hang on. Let me come back up. Yeah, YouTube has, uh, Nuber Magic was saying, he loves the fact that YouTube has excellent live streaming for the gamers and spinning wheels for Fukushima. Well said, my friend. Uh, and Nuber Magic is a blogger like myself. Long time. He's following the breaking news and the catching news and then aggregating it and doing a video with it. So it's all there in a nice package. Plus, he can look back on his other videos and, and right? for likewise parts of that story that are impertinent and uh, also um, give you that perspective right and he's not like me he's not like a raven freaking lunatic like me unfortunately but that's okay oh, I'm kicked off see that you didn't even see me like the cigarette that time did you if you're watching this video later I live streamed this onto YouTube I never fuck with it but Google did, and you missed that part when I went, eh, probably, maybe not. Uh, <laughs> I know. Keep going, Dana. Hi, Miss Phil. Dwayne, uh, Starlight, Lunar, James, Irina Rill. I'm good. Here we go again, then. I know, I just got kicked off over here again, and there's no reason for me to be getting kicked off. Nothing changed because I keep coming on, right? And I'm plugged directly into the router. I can't do jack shit about it. And so this cigarette hasn't got chemicals. 
I see my video stalling here though. So that's why I'm doing what I'm doing right now. Anybody don't know what the frig is going on. You should have skipped ahead a few minutes. Hi Black Tooth. This will teach you. We'll get started again here now. And. Okay here we go again. I'll try again and let me open up that page close that down let's go into some headlines or let me finish off that so the NRC claims the jet stream doesn't exist it didn't move the whip radioactive material all over the freaking planet probably nobody knows how much came out of there but if you go look at the video up on mom and Ox's site what you're gonna see look up whips fire you're gonna see all that smoke coming out well that was the release that was the radioactive release right sorry that was a radioactive release, and what that done, it hemorrhaged out of there for about four days. Have you ever seen a fuck char? Uh, fuck char. <laughs> ever see a fuck fire? Fuck char. How do I spell? I gotta spell that one out. A truck fire burned for four days. Pretty, pretty. I <laughs> would have pissed off somebody. But anyway, burned for four days. So that was radioactive material going through a chain reaction or something down there. So when you put all these heavy metals from, uh, say, the yellow cake, and you start slipping that in, because you got to think about it, it's 55 football-sized tunnels, and you stock that up with 45-gallon drums that nobody really knows what the fuck is in all of them, because if you open up, you're going to get a deadly dose. Right. And then all you do is have a roof cave in or have one of these explode because they contain noble gases. They have all these radioactive particles where they're creating all this. Um, uh oh. Damn it. Now the stream is going, eh? I'll take it. And so you have all these noble gases inside these containers, and we've seen the big, um, you know, 1,000 ton uh, containers like Fukushima is using detonate in Russia in the Techa uh, River, top of the Techa River. Where they originally evacuated 7,500 communities, 9,000 square miles, and a decade later, the tanks with that yellow cake in it, the same kind of sludge and shit they put down that whip, detonated from the noble gases, created hydrogen gases, the, um, because they're putting all the neptunium and americiums, all the plutoniums and uraniums, and most of the fuel is uranium-238, but it's only that perfect iron. Um, chain reaction stuff that they enriched it has to be a certain percentage and so everything else gets thrown away and that's what we call yellow cake that's what you call uh, that that's what your media terrorizes you with and calls dirty bombs and that's exactly what they use in bullets and they fire those bullets which are dirty bombs into uh, poor people's countries at an unimaginable rate of 2.5 million rounds a month sustained. It's sickening. Uh, let me keep going. So WIP had a huge release, massive, that was going on for days. The wind changed a number of times. So you can imagine there's probably around at least a thousand square miles of that area is radiated. Now they didn't tell you because you go out with your Geiger counter and look for it, but your Geiger counter is only going to find certain stuff right it's not going to say hey that's cesium and that's strontium and that's uranium just think about it right uh the majority of the waste is uranium but they're talking about americium the majority of the raised waste is uranium 238 and they're talking about plutonium and they're saying oh no this is plutonium contaminated <laughs> yeah once again, you got three cubic miles of it, and you're trying to put, um, I've never done the volume, but you're trying to do 55 football fields, so that's 300 feet by 100, is it? Um, 45 gallon drums and boxes and all that other stuff, because the, all they're going to do is lie like they've done for the last 70 years, like bananas and walking in the sunshine and licking iPhone chargers and stupid idiotic shit. And now you have the internet, you can go out and look it all up, and you find out that it's homeostasis. And so that it's inert, it's benign, it's innocuous, it's irrelevant. It's an insult. 
it's an utter insult to you and to your friends and your family and your community when the representative comes out and treats you like a dummy. And you're to blame because you don't go out and check, but you're not supposed to have to because you paid them to check and tell you. They're getting all that money, all those wages, all those freebies, credit cards, and vehicles, and accommodations, and accolades because you paid them to do a job, and they don't do the job. In fact, they've done the opposite. They never even told your children not to walk in that shit. They're going to be breeding it in. They hid it for nine days. And now they're coming out and saying you're not going to get back down there. You're going to have to try to send robots in there. And then what? What the fuck is the robot going to do? Ah, uh, we found something. You can't get in there. Everything is radiated. All the water, all the light switches, all the desks, all the shelves, everything in there, the floor, everything. If you try to move around in there, you're liberating it. You're talking about one ten thousandth of a millionth of a meter materials. They're inert anyway. Think about the sun. You cleaned your house perfect. It's beautiful. As shiny as you ever fucking had it. And you open your curtain up and the sun shines in. You can see just dust floating around everywhere. We're talking about shit smaller than that. And if you inhale it, your body sequesters it as an electron. It's electrically charged. And so it gets sequestered in your organs or in your bones, depending on what it is. The cesium will go in your heart. And they got everything down there in that shithole. Do you think for one second, like these isotopes don't travel by themselves and you can't separate them. It's not like jelly beans where you pick out the blue ones and you pick out the yellow ones and put them in another. <laughs> it's not like that. You can't do anything with it. It's supposed to be, according to the licensing agreement, the NRC, and Alison McFarlane, the head of the NRC, perjured herself a month and a half or two months ago. I call her it on this site. You can look up the NRC. And because she said there was no radioactive material could make it over from Fukushima and that there was no international studies showing that it would make it there. Yet we got endless headlines of it all over America. Hot particles from one end to the other end in March or April 2011. We got studies from Switzerland, from Norway, we got studies uh, from France, studies from all around the world, from international recognized universities and institutions doing modelings of the dispersal of the aerosol and the atomized radioactive fallout from Fukushima and you know it's convenient when having to whip is so they don't have to the university didn't have to do any models because whip never told anybody there was radioactive fallout the police didn't have to go around and tell people to stay indoors look up the duck and cover videos of what the government used to tell you to do it terrorize you and terrify you. And yet KRQ Channel 13 come out and call me a conspiracy terrorist when I'm not. I'm a researcher. That's all I do is I research. And I like going way to freak down the rabbit hole. In this case, we covered 8,000 topics. Okay, hang on. And I'm not still not there, so I still got, according to my folder, I better get my ass in gear. Hang on. I'm hoping I got something there. Uh, that was November, okay. So, that's not the one we wanted. There we go. Let me see if I got something that I haven't covered here before. Ooh, ooh. I threw a bunch of other shit in there. Oh, this news. That's not the one. I'll oh, get it. Ah, nuclear news, here it is. I got a little folder there, and I got one, two, three, four, five. I got to find a couple more. Six. I got to find two more headlines. Hang on. Uh, ba, ba, ba. The laser that can make it rain. <laughs> now, lasers, this is a headline from yesterday. And uh, Mark Prigg. The laser that can make it rain. Researchers unveil radical systems, start storms, and create lightning on command. And the technique uses a double laser that simulate particles within a cloud. In cloud. Now a laser like that exists because they use radioactive isotopes. Look up Wikipedia and look up uh, directed energy weapons, and they got a friggin' big list of them there. Look up lasers, they got a big list of them there. 
And some of them, they tell you what kind of isotopes they're using. Some of them is classified, but go look it up. There's all kinds of it. I actually done a video on its 50th anniversary of lasers and covered it extensively. Way down the rabbit hole on that one. Um, it was a good, you know, shitty video because I'm not very good at that stuff, but a lot of information. And one. Oh, oh, oh. Wrecking the earth. Fracking has grave radiation risk. Few talks about. And fracking is hell on earth. Whatever Fukushima and Whip don't get. Uh, Hanford <laughs> might get. Hanford's extraordinarily bad. 45,000 barrels off San Francisco. I mean, there's, these are all bad things. But Whip, you know, what Whip is doing, it's supposed to have all this uh, waste here. So there's an enormous amount of material there already. They've been at this for quite a few years. I can't remember. 15 years, I think it is. Putting stuff down there. And so there's a lot there. So it's like, to me, it's like Fukushima, it's like Sellafield, and it's like Hanford. It's like either one of them, you know? Because there's a large volume there. If you go open, like, you know, no one dares, because they got Yanyans. They ain't going to be opening up no drums. That's the last thing they want. They were opening up the drums of some of the stuff and repackaging, believe it or not. Which to me is amazing, because they're releasing, and they have to, because they got to release the gases out of these containers every so often, or they'll explode. But they're supposed to be in containers that can deal with them, and then they would off-gas in the filters, but there's no filter that can actually filter these tiny particles. They're smaller than the microns, right? But fracking, uh, they're using fracking depleted uranium-238 way to freak down in the ground and blow shit up. Right? They mix it and it becomes a much more powerful detonation. And it's sickening what they're doing. It's just sickening. Finding healthy fish, avoiding toxins, mercury, and radiation. So this is um, this young girl. She's up on the media and she's saying, she looked it up and uh, the government said there was no radiation to work, uh, worry about. It was like 100, you get 100 times more radiation from eating a banana than you would from a Pacific fish. But it doesn't work that way. The ocean, what's going on in Fukushima, if you take St. Paddy's Day, I'll just give you a quick, and I have to do this all the time, unfortunately, but if you took St. Paddy's Day, I'm getting it pretty good now, let's go through it. You took St. Paddy's Day, for a few minutes you put dye in the river, and the river turns incredibly bright. So let's say it's uh, red, a real bright red. And so for a long way down the river, well not that far, but for quite a ways down the river, it's really bright for St. Paddy's Day when you do that. And that was only a few minutes worth of uh, putting dye into the river. Imagine if the dye doesn't salute in the water and keeps its dye, its brightness for uh, thousands of years and is radioactive. That's what's happening at Fukushima, 1,440 minutes a day for 1,130 odd days. 1,440 minutes a day, it's equal to a 1,000 pound truck a minute, every minute, 1,400, 1,440 trucks a day going into that river. And at the end of three years, imagine that river is four or 5,000 miles long. You got into a jet fighter, and you're going to fly down river, that 5,000 mile river, and you got fuel and tank aircrafts in the air if you need more fuel. How far down river are you going to go 4,000, 5,000 miles to the ocean before you ran at a scene of dye that you put into it for three years, 24 hours a day, 1,440 minutes a day, 1,000 pounds of dye a minute? And back the truck up, dumped it, got it out of the way. The other truck backed up, dumped it, got it out of the way. That goes on every day. Non-stop putting dye in the river, like St. Paddy's Day. And do you think that the, the marine life and everything is going to be affected by that? If you look up, the ocean is broken, the Boston Herald, or the Australian Herald. Well, a very well-known sailing team left Japan and for 3,000 miles never seen a creature. So it's really bad. It's really bad. And that's why we're here. Because uh, this ain't going to last forever. I know that. That's why I'm able to persevere. Because this is not going to... The top is going to come off of this. Just like Whip lied all the way up to this point, And now has to come out and admit. Right? they got to come out and admit. They're not just going to keep throwing money at it. And pretend everybody's... Yeah, honey, I'm off to work. I got me lunch. We'll see you tomorrow. I'm not saying nothing to their wives or nothing, right? It's not like that's going to happen. You're in the world of uh, Google and Facebook and Twitter. So 
Yeah, my husband works that way, but he doesn't do nothing. I gives him a lunch, and then he goes plays pool with the boys and picks up his check every Friday because the government doesn't want to admit there's an issue. And uh, she said, the University of Texas Health Science Center in Houston says you need to eat 2.5 to 4 tons of tuna in a year to get a dose of cesium-137 that exceeds health limits. Uh, that would be 14 to 22 pounds of tuna a day, which is a fabrication again. If you ingest a single radioactive atom or particle from of cesium-137, your body attacks it. And the fish are swimming in this stuff at an unimaginable rate. Think about the ocean currents travel at one mile per hour. They travel up to nine kilometers an hour, but say at uh, two kilometers an hour, they're traveling, they will get to North America in 229 days, 5,500 miles, 24 hours a day. And what happens is the next day, all the way behind it, it's still hemorrhaged out of Fukushima, but they claim it didn't. And this is what WIP is doing. They're saying there was no hemorrhage during the truck fire, right? Oh no, everything was fine, but we decided we'll play it safe and stay the fuck out of there for nine days, right? So this law is just fell to shit. And then they put out another video where they actually showed pictures of the truck with the burnt off tire. And they actually employed, this was KRQE, Channel 13, and they, uh, they employed that that was from WIP. But it wasn't. See? And so I called them out on it. Because no one's got down there and took a picture. And yet they portrayed it. This is how desperate they're making stuff up. And now they're finally out there and emitting it. That they can't get in there. That the levels are so high they have to use robotics. And even if a robot gets in there, what the fuck is he going to do? I apologize for all the fucking swearing. Later. But what? what is a robot going to do? Hey, look, 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 guys. I fucking found it. Do you think you're going to get in there and solve that? Is that what they're employing? Is that what they're saying? We're going to get in and clean it all freaking up? And we're going to get back to, back to business? No, they just give us some money. We got to stay on the site and not tell the end of time and try to stop it from getting worse. That's what they're going to that's what they're trying to do now. You got to give us lots of money cuz now we got a we got a catastrophe on our hands and we need massive money because we they can't do nothing to it. What are they going to do? They can't get in there and stir all that up. That's a very toxic environment. It's stupid. They waste another nickel on that aspect of it. It's in incredibly smart to take all the institutions and universities that do a peer review study tomorrow and finish it and pass it in and get and get published, which is 4800 three a minute, published peer review academic studies. You pay for every day or locked away at Ulster Springer and Wiley's Ivory Tower. If you took those 4800 peer review studies tomorrow and put them to work on how to get that shit out of whip and do something with it, you actually might be able to solve that. But no. They're going to drag this out till the end of time. Just lie, manipulate, and steal from the taxpayers. And have release after release after release. Till it finally gets out of control. Till they finally got to leave the whole fucking site. And the site just keeps hemorrhaging. And you know what they're going to say? Nothing. Right? That's what they've done with all the, the nuclear bomb tests in New Mexico. No, well actually what they were doing was they were at the same time they were making, the government was making movies saying if Russia drops a bomb, here's what you got to do because radioactive fallout from a bomb is really dangerous. And meanwhile that year they done 40 in New Mexico and that radiation fell all over your communities. They think you're idiots, they're doing tests on you, they'll dig you up after you die just to see if radiation got into your bones and figure out what it was and how it kills you. So they can put it in their little picture up on the wall and say, yeah, I got another stupid idiot. That's how they don't pay out their pensions. They don't pay out many pensions in this industry. People seem to magically die of cancers because the industry is a cancer. It's a cancer upon society. It's 3% of the, the energy on the planet. On the entire planet, nuclear power accounts for 3%. And it doesn't really, it's just a byproduct of making directed energy isotope uh, web, uh, fuel. Isotopes are fuel for your future laser beams. Your laser weapons, your laser defenses, your laser stupid, idiotic, planet killing, planet sucking, destroying, all the natural resources 
taken away all these scientists, all these academics, all all these, you know, resources that go into building these big infrastructures and maintaining them um, is stupid. It's the stupidest fucking thing imaginable. And then you're arresting children for going pew pew out in the schoolyard with another kid because they watched the propaganda machine on TV and were mimicking it or from Hollywood. And now they're criminals for the rest of their life and got a criminal record because they're six years old. It's sickening. It's the stupidest system imaginable. And it's going to stop. Now, I'm not going to get all my fucking headlines in tonight either if I don't shut up and get busy here. Radiation leak forces transfer of nuclear waste from New Mexico, no offense to people in New Mexico, to Texas. And actually, there's enough radioactive waste made from American nuclear facilities when they all ran their course and they already have, because they're all extended beyond their normal lifetime. So there's enough radioactive material out there to put the entire Texas under one-third of an inch of ground-up radioactive waste. One-third of an inch. That's incredible. If you lived in that environment, it would cook you. It would literally cook you. Because that's material. That's releasing neutrons and x-rays on top of that. And these ionized alphas and betas and gammas emitters are completely different. Because they went through the chain reaction. That's, what, that's why WIP is so fucked up. It's because it went through the chain reaction. And the shit they're putting down there, they can't open barrels up and see what the fuck is in there. They got to take the other guy's words for it. They got probably got a little section there where the workers actually do stuff like that. And that's in order to con them. But there's so much shit rolling in there on the back of trucks. They don't fucking repackage everything that's going in there. Don't you believe that for a second? They're filling up football fields with the most toxic shit they got in the country. Because that's the only spot they got to put it. And they should never ever have a spot like that. It's the stupidest thing imaginable. Right? They had a truck for it. They can't even fucking deal with it for nine days. Anyway... Let me get a couple of headlines in for a give a color night. And I'm probably not even going to accomplish that. That's okay, though. I'll be back. China is building a massive stop, stockpile of uranium. <laughs> Got another headline out of that one. Another three headlines. I'll get it. China is building a massive stop, stockpile of uranium. Probably get most of it from Canada. Canada is the sickest creatures out there. 16% of all uranium on the planet coming out of Canada. Fucking idiots, man. You can't trust anybody. Just can't trust anybody in that sense, right? I mean, why the frig is Canada doing shit like that anyway? Hang on. This is, um... Which one else I got down? Don't matter. Here we go. News, nuclear, 17th. Um, bum, 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 bum. I'll come backwards. Did I cover any of that stuff? Significant rise in cancer risk after five years. Scientist Chernobyl resulted in 985,000 deaths worldwide and a 500% more cancer fatalities when using MOX is uh, expected. By 2004, there was uh, 985,000 attributed to it. You've got to think about all the autoimmune dis uh, disease that goes along with that. So you didn't get cancer and die from radiation, but you got really sick. And you pass that on to your children, and they pass it on to their children, right? So Chernobyl never stops giving to Ukraine, Belarus, Russia. Scientific risk and cancer risk within five years after exposure to low-dose radiation. Uh, think about Dr. Raymond Gilmetti from uh, New Mexico. And he kills beagles, puppies and dogs, for a living with plutonium. He makes them inhale it. And so he murders all these dogs, I should say that, I guess. And he uh, tortures all these dogs, barbarizes all these dogs with tumors and twisted cancers, and then does uh, autopsies on them. Uh, and they do big, a lot of dogs in studies, right? They can go through a lot of dogs. They can kill dogs in as little as four or five days after getting them inhaled the plutonium to see where it went. And then they, they, would, they would have uh, different laboratories doing the same test where they didn't kill the dog. And the dog was allowed to live for, for its life, which is, well, we've seen the cancers generally at three, four, and five years. And there was 80 peer-reviewed studies about how the plutonium uh, 238 and 239 affected the dogs. And these are ionized plutoniums. 
plutonium is man-made anyway, so it's all ionized, right? But you're, there is natural uranium because they want to fuck you over and call it natural. Fukushima worker, I was diagnosed with bladder cancer in 2012. Now stomach and intestine cancers found recently. Each developed independently, not from one spreading. So it's not like one spread to another, to another, to another, to another. These are all in different types of tumors from working. Uh, and, and that Diney, I think it was. Yeah, he was. No, he was at Diachi. And there was 14 reactors in trouble at Fukushima, not, not uh, four. Well, they always say three. Unit 1, 2, and 3 at Fukushima, Diachi, Military Industrial Complexes, Direct Energy Weapons, Nuclear Fuel Production, Isotope, Machine Making, uh, Byproduct is uh, Steam. And by the way, you know, you're boiling a million gallons a minute of water. So you're killing all the creatures in that water. All the photoplankton, all, all the, the very property, the very basis of the food chain of oxygen. Uh, well, a million gallons a minute for these uh, boiling water reactors. And almost all the reactors on the planet are boiling water reactors. China has one that's not, but I don't know if it's online or not yet. Uh, there's been hundreds of uh, uh, nuclear reactors. I covered a lot of them in Nuclear Earth. I was going to do volume six tonight. I'll probably do that tomorrow night. And there's another couple of people i got to get around to. Let me do another couple of headlines. We've still got a few minutes left, five minutes. Study fuel material introduced to the Pacific Ocean via drains of Fukushima plant, resulting in potential serious contamination of the marine environment. Isotopic determinations of uranium, plutonium, and cesium in environmental waters. Geochemical journal. Uh, the concentration of the radionuclides, uraniums, plutoniums, and cesium daughters were measured in water samples, 10 to 20 liters the dispersion and migrations. And so there was a massive continuous release out of Fukushima and still ongoing, like I told you earlier, like uh, St. Paddy's Day, that never stops. And so the ocean doesn't get a break. And the isotope will come right back to Japan at some point. It'll go right around the ocean. It doesn't dilute or salute in the water. Remember, they sprayed salt water on these reactors for long, sustained periods of times. And they actually mentioned that at Harvard and uh, MIT, Stanford and MIT, for sure, rather, they, they mentioned uh, the salt water, the urethal peroxide buckyballs from spraying the salt water on the reactors. This is a phenomenon they have never, they postulate, but they've never seen before. And it created these buckyballs that would ingest uh, particles and atoms and turn them to like little nuclear engines at one ten thousandth of a millionth of a meter and you could would ingest these and we know California was seeing up to 1500 of these sulfur buckyballs per cubic meter of air in March of 2011, April 2011. So was Seattle. So in other words if you had it there and you had it there you had it everywhere else too. We have NOAA, the Americans dispersal models of the CC-137 that don't travel alone okay. None of that travels alone. You hear dispersal models of anything everything else is there. And the original onslaught was not only iodine-131, but iodine-132. And there was 10 times as much, and that ionizes your thyroid 10 times quicker, 10 times more effectively. And there was 133, which does the same thing, but there's probably 20 times more than that. These are short-lived 20-day uh, isotopes. They'll tell you two days, but it's times 10. All they want to do is lie to you. And that keeps you in the dark, keeps you confused, and keeps you pacified. And you say, well, I'm not a nuclear scientist, like you see in the movies all the time. And you say, like, that's too much for me. And it is. And unfortunately, we've got to walk the walk and talk the talk. And if we make a mistake, we'll be demonized till the end of time. If I make a mistake, it'll be used to bludgeon me. But they can go out and say bananas all they want. They can say lick an iPhone charger, a whip, all they want, and there's no accountability. There's no checks and balances. Well, they're friggin' wrong, okay? I can guarantee you one thing, there's me... And then there's the, the hounds of Fukushima, or the Fukushima hounds, right? Because we're not going to sit here and take it. We're getting all educated, and they're going to have us a little hanging party legally down the road here. We're going to bring back the Nuremberg trials for the nuclear apologists, for the nuclear manipulists, for the people that are out there and don't have the courtesy, but did you pay you know, the WIP management and the oversight committees 
to fucking tell you when something happens. And not to do stupid shit like put it all down in a hole in the ground and when something happens, tell everybody it's a truck fucking fire. Now we can't go back under because it's a truck fire and make shit up nine days later. And have PR firms like KRQE Channel 13, which is 100% lawyers, manipulators, talking about x-rays, and bananas, and potatoes, and drinking water, and walking in the sunshine, rather than Dr. Raymond Gilmetti's peer review academic studies. It was okay to use him when they were talking about another release that they wanted to lie about, but when it came down to actually plutonium, why not get the plutonium expert in, like Dr. Raymond Gilmetti, that they used before? to marginalize Fukushima. Well, how do, they said, right? He said, well, there's no way you can make it down here. Of course, the jet stream at 100 miles an hour in 24 hours, 2,400 miles. Three days later, it's bang in your neighborhood. And it was a snowstorm. There's peer review studies down below. There's all kinds of links down below. All kinds of people here. There's other opinions. There's other, you know, you have to learn about it. You have to hold these people accountable. You have to learn to eat healthy. You have to realize we had an event. Not only did WIP have an event, but uh, you know all these other events. And we have to get this under control. We have to deal with this. We have to put our academics to work on this. Enough of this. Enough of the lies. I can't take it anymore. Neither can anybody else. We shouldn't have to. We're not supposed to. We gave them every nickel they ever wanted. We gave them every scientist they ever wanted. We gave them every scrap of land they ever wanted. We threw people off their land, gave it to them. They still can't fucking get it right. We gave them all the money they wanted. We gave them billions and billions and billions every year to do the fucking job. And they're paid to do it on your behalf and they can't do the job. They've never done the job. they got no intentions of doing the job. They give it to McAllister's bomb manufacturer in Oklahoma and they turn it into dirty bombs and go far in other people's countries. Who didn't do a fucking thing to you. And then scream they're going to get a dirty bomb and come get us. When you fire 2.5 million dirty bombs a month. Every month for nine years in Iraq. But you're okay. You're patriotic. Ra ra ra. Right? No. You've been tricked, deceived, manipulated, fooled. And turned stupid. Because they just keep. Everybody has to tell you that same a lie. Or one of them's a lawyer. I'm telling you something different. And I'm not a lawyer. I got nothing to gain and everything to lose by not being forthcoming and forthright. And unfortunately, 100% accurate in everything I say or it's used against me. Where they, All they do is lie. That's it. I refuse lie. I don't see any need in it. Okay, one more headline. TEPCO uses radioactive water from reactor 5 and 6. So those buildings are contaminated till the end of time. To spray through a Fukushima plant, over 100 tons a day, and the tanks are close to overflowing, and there it is, 8,000 headlines on this site that I've talked about a little bit. Sure, I didn't go down heavy on all these headlines, but I read them, I screen captured them, I put them into folders, I organized them, and I found time to share them with you. That's all I'm trying to say to you, is that I, I went through this, and I copied and pasted words I didn't know what they were, and I learned, and... In four months, that's what we got, is over 8,000 headlines, 160 videos on target. And uh, that's nothing to sneeze at, okay? That's something to be proud of. We flushed them out. We proved that we're better than them and that we, you know, we need to take charge because we gave them everything that they wanted and they can't do the job, right? They don't even try, so... Let me open up that, and somehow I got kicked out of that room. I don't even know if I'm still streaming. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, it says live now. <laughs> Pretty cool. That means you didn't kick me off, and I was talking to myself again. Yeah. I'm going to come over and say goodnight to everybody. Hour and four minutes. Wow. That one says hour and two. Who's telling the truth? That computer or this computer? Let's see what it says on the front page. I say goodnight to everybody right here, right now. Eject the volume back down. And come on, computer. You can do it, little computer. Is that Google being a dick? Hi, Starlight. Thank you, Starlight. Yeah. Yeah, pretty freaking proud. Gonna go get me some ice cream and cake and a little bit of bananas. Don't tell anybody. 
I'm not afraid of old potassium 40. Hi, uh, we destroy what you save. Patrick. Fix your tis. Uh, Ketcher K. Spider Guy. Starlight. New Brew Magic. Original Punisher. Woo! Eight friggin' thousands. Well, you guys all done it too, right? So you had to pick up some pretty good shit along the way, folks. Liz Hound. Sergeant James Beck, Miss Milky, Ooh, Miss Milky. You got the links below to her, folks. You don't know who I'm saying hi to. Thank you, yes, Miss Milky. I bet you are. That's why I'm here because you're prodding. You know, just gotta wave the old Fukushima in front of Dana for a while. He goes, oh, Fukushima. And I'd be hooked. It's like dandelion root tea. I can't stop drinking it. And the Monterey's Kate. Hey, Kate. Kate runs the chat room. You find links below. Miss Milky and Kate. Lori. Nuber Magic, too, of course. Everybody. Cindy. Good night, folks. Pet Lovers. Original Punisher. Adam. Nuber Magic again. You're awesome, buddy. We love what you're doing over there, man. And you're only getting better every single time, right? Um, so that'll never change. You get more knowledge, you always get better. Amthor. Same as everybody here. DJ. Once again, Kate, maybe Kate, I'll try. Uh, Ketzer, everybody will catch you folks tomorrow night. That's enough time. Anyway, you guys rocks. Thank you, Miss Milky. Excellent. Enrico, Enrique, uh, Adam, Kathy, Solar, Mickey, Ketzer, Patrick. <laughs> By completing this video, you have proven you are capable of filming, producing, and editing your own. We expect one video from you by the end of next week.